What's going on guys, Gemmin here with another statue unboxing and review and this time we have a classic, an OG, a timeless premium format by Sideshow. We're talking about the Lobo premium format. I've been wanting this guy for a long time and I picked it up from Mint Hunter Comics. Now I've been seeing Mint Hunter pop in my recommendations and it's actually a name that came up a few times when I made a community post asking what other YouTubers should I collaborate with. So not a couple days after that, Mint Hunter posted a video that they had devastating effects from Hurricane Ida. They had a flood on a house that they just purchased, hadn't even moved into, didn't have flood insurance because it's not a flood zone. So unfortunately had to sell some stuff uh, to help pay for the repairs. So I, as I'm watching the video, I see him you know, selling CGC books and statues. And I'm like, if he's got the Lobo premium format, I'm gonna buy it. Sure enough, Lobo premium format, didn't really want to sell it, but put it up for sale for the greater good. So I said, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity for the, you know, me to pick up a statue I've always wanted and to help this dude out. So I got it from him, he shipped it no problem, and here we go. We're gonna jump into the unboxing and review. Uh, before we do it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Got a big giveaway going on for our next subscriber milestone of 150K, and we're giving away a Deja Thoris premium format by Sideshow. I'll give you more details on how to enter the giveaway at the end of the video, but for now, let's jump into the unboxing. All right guys, so old school Sideshow box, let's take off the lid. We got plastic on all the pieces. Let's get rid of that. And there we go. Looks beautiful. Let's pull out this little piece of the base, this creepy little skull. And right away, this gives me like classic sideshow vibes, like Universal Monsters vibes. Love the paint applications, the gooiness coming out of the bullet holes of the skull, the color scheme of the skull with the green like highlights to it. And then speaking of skulls, we got Ghost Rider's head. No, but I love this exclusive switch out for his right hand with this flaming skull. I love the translucent resin, and I like how they have the glow effect on the fingers. I didn't realize Sideshow has been doing this for years. I thought it was something or a technique they've been doing recently, but right hand looks great. And then we have uh, one of the options, one of his hook chains, and you can see all like the nicks and battle damage in the hook. The chain feels like real metal. Then we have his large gun for his left hand. I like the dirty griminess to the metal. Then you got that wood handle here with like the uh, the number of bodies that he's killed with it. I love that. You got his left hand as well. You got the spiked glove, the bluish whitish skin tone, and that big barrel. Here goes another one of the uh, right hand switch outs. This has the uh, hook in his hand. So I guess you would use this if you weren't using the chain wrapped around his arm, but you could use both, I guess. But uh, same great detail on the hook and hand, and then the portrait. So I do like this one. He looks sinister. He's gritting his teeth, kind of bottom grill outward. Love the design on his face. The expression looks great. The eyes, the hair looks good. You know, he's got that mullet. He's got to have a mullet, right? Uh, I do like this portrait a lot. However, it's not the one that I would use because this portrait is amazing. First of all, I like the expression. He looks more serious. Of course, he's got the cigar uh, and then he's got those beautiful locks. I like all the hair going over the front of his shoulders, down towards his back. You can see each individual dreadlock is sculpted uh, and it just looks awesome. I mean, two great portraits, but this one is just amazing, like no contest. And let's look at some of the details on his body. The boot is so well detailed. A lot of mixed media on this piece. Those buckles are of a fabric nature. Same with his pants, kind of a faux leather. That looks great. Got the gun in this holster. And then his leather jacket with the Bite Me Fanboy patch on the back. So much going on on the body here. His build looks great. I love the musculature, the skin tone, those skull kneecaps with the stars. And then the base here. So the bottom of the base shows this is number 311 out of 1000. Now this one did have some damage that I was aware of. So this rocket right here, you can see on the right, on the left, it snapped off. So we're gonna do some surgery. We're gonna glue that back together. So while I do that, and while I glue it back together, a quick word from our sponsor, Street Level Hero. SLHLA.com has exclusive variant covers with new drops every Tuesday and Thursday. They have this awesome X-Men 4 Cyclops variant where you can save 10% if you use the code GEMMINT at checkout. That's actually good for any item on the store and every time you shop there. Just like their sister site, that's SpidermanBooth.com, who has $30 mystery boxes where you're guaranteed five comics of retail value. 
one of those lucky boxes is gonna have their GP, their giveaway prize, which is this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 51 1 out of 10 sketch variant. It's the first appearance of Jenica, the fifth turtle. Use the same code GEMMINT to save 10% every time you buy a box there, and you wanna hurry up and buy one before September 22nd, because that's when this round ends. All right, based on the table, let's get that little skull keyed in. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and get Lobo in. He only pegs into that one side on the left. And you can see I did go ahead and manage to glue the left rocket on the base. Moving up to Lobo, we'll put the right hand hook switch out there. All right, that looks great. And then we'll go ahead and get the gun on his left hand. So that one has a little peg and keys in. All right. You can see that leather jacket, it looks great. All right, then let's do the first portrait that I mentioned. And there we go, I mean, it's a good look. I guess it really depends on if you like Lobo with the shorter hair. Um, I'm not really seeing why you would use this one over the other one, so let's just switch it out. This one you gotta be a little bit careful. You don't wanna chip any of those dreadlocks. Boom, so we got him in there. That looks awesome. So I mean, you can do whatever right hand switch out with whichever portrait, obviously, but we're gonna go ahead and remove the right hand hook and we're gonna get that chain wrapped around his arm. Let's speed that up a little bit. And we'll get the flaming skull hand there. That looks great. All right, guys, there we have it, man. This is a piece that I've wanted for a long time. It came out before I got into statue collecting, so it's one that kind of has always been on the back burner for me. And when Sideshow announced the new Lobo maquette, I was like, you know what, I'll just wait for the new one. Usually the new ones are better than the older ones. But after having the newer maquette, I felt like he lacked size compared to the other pieces. He, his height wasn't really there. He was kind of crouched down, very thin base. So I ended up getting rid of him and uh, was back on the hunt for the OG here. So uh, I ended up you know, getting this one in obviously and I love it, man. I think some pieces are just timeless and just classic and I think this one stands the test of time. It holds up and it has what I felt like the other one was missing, which was that presence. Now, I always thought this one was sculpted by Martin Canali, but it looks like he might have just had a hand in the art direction. Sideshow credits the sculpt to Avinash Hedge, Guillermo Barrero, and Martin Diamante. Tim Hansen on the costume fabrication, Anthony Mestas on the paint, Chris Anka on design, Walter O'Neill on design as well, Maria Romo Bowen on the paint. And speaking of the height, this one is just over 28 inches tall, so I think he's gonna pair much better with like the new Bane, with the new Dark Side coming out, with uh, uh, the most recent Batman so super happy with this one the detail is incredible as you guys saw close up from the base of this rough type of machinery on the border the rockets on the sides with a little dolphin Easter egg the top has this nice concrete texture with cracks that creepy little skull there you have some bullet casings on the floor and then Lobo the detail is amazing like I showed you guys those boots up close so much intricacies in the sculpt there the mixed media pants. Uh, he's got the gun on the holster. He's got a utility belt, skull belt buckle. The blue skull knee pads are incredible. Love the uh, leather jacket with the strings there as well. I like even how this looks. This hook with this chain kind of gives you some more depth. And man, both portraits are amazing. However, the one with the cigar and the dreadlocks, that's the one for me. And you even have the different type of material with the translucent resin on the skull. Just so much going for him. I know he does have a little companion piece dog, which uh, I'll probably lightly hunt for. I mean, it's not really a, a necessity for me, but if I see one or casually see one selling one, I'll probably pick it up. But man, super happy with this one. Again, thank you, Mint Hunter Comics, for selling me this. I know you didn't really want to, but I was happy to uh, pick it up from you. Uh, and let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. It's not often that the OG, the classic, outshines the newer version, but I think in this case it does. Uh, like I said, make sure to hit that like button on the way out, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We're doing that giveaway for the Deja Thoris once we hit our next subscriber milestone of 150k. Once we hit it, we'll go live, pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway, and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. So comment on as many videos as you can for better odds on winning. Uh, appreciate you guys watching, but don't go anywhere. Check out my statue and unboxing reviews playlist uh, while I show Lobo spinning on the turntable. Stay minty fresh, y'all. Peace.